Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain an American teen comedy film called Bully. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. Jimmy Mulligan is a polite teenager in high school. In the opening scene, we see him minding his own business in the school's hallway. A trio of bullies, Eddie, Neil, and their leader, Miles, walk down the hallway, intimidating everyone on their way. Miles shoves the books out of Jimmy's hands and challenges him to do something about it. As usual, Jimmy lets them walk over him and does nothing. Since he never retaliates, the bullies often target him. Later, Jimmy is approached by his only friends, Andy and Bobby, both of whom are considered the school's losers. Over time, the constant nagging and insulting have made Jimmy depressed. His mother senses something is wrong, but Jimmy refuses to tell her what he is going through. After school, his friends call him over to lighten the mood, but Jimmy refuses to go. He knows that there is a chance he will bump into Miles, who also lives in the same neighborhood. Hence, he dreads leaving the house altogether. The next day at school, Andy and Bobby greet him using popular teenage slang to sound cool, but fail miserably. Jimmy feels at home with them, that is until Miles approaches him yet again. Bobby runs away immediately, knowing that the guy will definitely insult him. Miles stops the other two and asks Jimmy for a hundred dollars. When Jimmy claims that he doesn't owe them anything, the guy starts getting aggressive. But then, Miles notices Vinny watching them and retreats for a moment. Vinny is a great fighter who has many dangerous connections. He doesn't like when Miles and his group bother people and is always keeping an eye on them. Because of his influence, even the bullies are scared of him. Then, we are introduced to a girl named Adrian. She is smart and friendly, but is always misjudged by her looks. She seems to have a crush on Jimmy, but he doesn't believe any girl would be interested in him. One of the bullies, named Eddie, touches Bobby inappropriately in class, causing him to scream and run away. Because Bobby likes men, the bullies call him slurs and make fun of him all the time. Jimmy helps his friend feel better before the guys go to the cafeteria. They notice Adrian staring at Jimmy, but he is still not convinced that she is interested in him. Miles sits with the group and asks him for money yet again. This time, a senior guy stands up against the bully. Not wanting to get into trouble, Miles leaves, but it doesn't take him long before approaching Jimmy again. He stops Jimmy on his way home, furious about what happened at the cafeteria. When Jimmy refuses to pay, the bully starts beating him up. A neighbor named Mr. Jackson notices this and comes out to save Jimmy. Miles calls him a racial slur before driving away with his friend. After that, Jackson brings Jimmy inside and helps him with his injuries. Jimmy notices a picture of a boxer on the wall and is surprised to find out the person is Jackson. It turns out that he used to be a national boxer back in the day. He suggests that Jimmy learn self-defense so the guys won't bother him again, but Jimmy doesn't even know where to begin. A while later, Jackson takes him home where his parents are horrified to see their son with a black eye. Jackson tells them what happened and brings up the topic of self-defense class. The parents seem skeptical and ask for some time to think it over. In the following scene, someone knocks on Jackson's door. He opens it to see the couple with Jimmy, who now has two black eyes. They hand their son over to Jackson, requesting him to make the kid tough. However, Jackson doesn't train guys himself. He has a friend named Manny who runs a gym and a boxing center. When Jimmy walks into the establishment for the first time, he feels out of place. He doesn't know if he will survive between the athletic and muscular people with his body type. Still, Manny takes him in and encourages him, saying that nothing is impossible. If he puts his heart into the training, he is sure to learn the basics of boxing in no time. To boost his confidence, Manny makes him show his strength and is pleasantly surprised when he is strong enough to push him. Jimmy then gears up and practices for two full hours before returning home with Jackson. By the end of the day, he is tired to the core, but Jackson notices that he's worried about something else. Upon being asked, Jimmy reveals that the bullies are not going to stop bothering him until he gives them the money. But to teach them a lesson, he will have to train for at least a month. After thinking about it for a while, Jackson comes up with a solution. He advises Jimmy to promise them $200 if they wait for a month. That way, their greedy asses will fall right into the trap and wait for the day until he is ready to beat them. 
The next morning, Jimmy can barely move. Every muscle in his body hurts, which makes him want to give up right then and there. His mother gives him a half-filled pain relief ointment that wouldn't be enough for a single arm. Still, he somehow gets dressed for the day and goes to school. Andy meets him on the way and sees him waddling because of the pain in his thighs. Jimmy refrains from telling his friend the truth, afraid that he won't commit to boxing. At school, the bullies approach him in the hallways, as always. They slam him into the lockers for the money, but Jimmy is quick to divert their attention. He claims to have gotten a very good after-school job that will pay him after a month. If they wait for that long, he promises to double the money. Miles and the group agree, before making him understand if he is unable to keep his word, the consequences will not be good. For the next few days, Jimmy has a very hard time training because he is not habituated to a lot of physical exercises. The pressure is just too much for him. His exhaustion is clearly visible in his performance. One day, Manny tells Jackson that if the kid doesn't show progress, he will have to join another gym because he is not fond of laziness in his establishment. That night, on their way back home, Jimmy reveals that he doesn't feel confident in his strength. After all the hard work, he is still not sure if he'll be able to beat the bullies. But after Jackson shares his own experience and the experience of his fellow boxers, Jimmy is motivated with the will to try harder. The next day, he doesn't wait for Jackson to pick him up and instead cycles to the gym so he can warm up. Even his performance is much better, which surprises many. Day by day, he builds up his core strength and doesn't get sore after the practices anymore. Both Manny and Jackson are impressed by his determination. In addition to this, he is much more confident while talking to the bullies at school, but is careful not to anger them. One day, during the lunch break, Andy brings up the topic of Adrian. Jimmy comments that he would love to date her. She overhears him saying that and sits by him. That evening, she and her mother come to pick him up for a high school party. Jimmy's parents are shocked since he has never had a girl over before. The experience is emotional for them because they had basically given up on their son dating anyone. At the party, the host makes inappropriate comments about the couple in an empty room. They feel uncomfortable and come to the front yard to spend time privately. Adrian notices that Jimmy has lost a few pounds over the past couple of weeks and asks him what his secret is. Jimmy asks her to be ready after school tomorrow, planning to take her to the gym. The two fall into silence before leaning in for a kiss. The moment is interrupted though when Miles' minion starts insulting the couple. Jimmy takes a stand for himself and orders the guy to go away. Because he is without his group, the guy has no choice but to oblige. This makes Jimmy realize that they only targeted him because he never fought back. The following day, Jackson picks up Jimmy and Adrian. Initially, he is thrown off by Adrian's appearance, but after talking to her on the way to the gym, he figures she is a sweet girl. When Adrian finds out that Jimmy trains in boxing, she is taken aback. She wishes to be like the trainees in the gym, but is skeptical that being a girl doesn't go with boxing. To prove her wrong, Manny makes his best female athlete box against his best male athlete. She knocks him out, showcasing her skill and strength. Unimpressed Adrian decides to join the gym and train alongside Jimmy. She also sees Manny go against Jimmy and is pleasantly surprised by Jimmy's skills. The next day is the weekend, but Jimmy is so determined to get better that he doesn't want to miss a single day of training. He meets an MMA fighter who helps him learn a few MMA tips and tricks. It has been over a month since Jimmy made the promise to the bullies. Miles loses his patience and orders Jimmy to bring the money after school. If Miles doesn't return home with the money today, Jimmy won't return home at all. Later, in the bathroom, Jimmy meets Vinny, the guy who even the bullies are afraid of. Vinny happens to know that he is training at the gym nowadays. He predicts that Jimmy is about to challenge Miles to a fight and wishes him luck. After they leave, we see that one of Miles' minions was inside a stall the entire time. He immediately texts his leader and tells him everything he heard. Miles is enraged. Someone who he had thought was completely submissive is going as far as to challenge him to a fight? If Jimmy wins this one, the reputation he has created for himself will go downhill. Hence, he calls one of his adult associates named Billy for help. Billy is willing to do anything for money and has recently come out of jail. Jimmy is sure to be defeated if he goes against a professional like Billy. Hence, Miles is not worried about the fight. But unbeknownst to him, Vinny has found out about his little plan to sabotage a fair fight. 
He in turn pulls some strings and makes sure that Billy won't make it to the school grounds. A worried Adrian calls Manny and tells him that something feels off. Manny has full confidence in his training and assures her that Jimmy can handle any high school bully. School finally ends for the day and a crowd gathers outside to witness the fight. Billy is on his way to the school when two people abduct him at Vinny's request. Meanwhile, Miles boasts about how he is about to beat Jimmy to a pulp. Knowing that Jimmy isn't weak, Vinny encourages him to go one-on-one -on -one with him. The fight starts, and initially, Miles lands a punch before Jimmy, but when Jimmy's anger erupts, Miles is beaten to the ground. Everyone is shocked, including the teachers, who are watching them from the staff room's window. Jimmy tells Miles to never trouble anyone at the school again, before knocking him out. Adrian runs to him for a hug as the crowd erupts into cheers. Someone uploads the video of the fight on the internet and it gains millions of likes. People praise Jimmy for standing up against bullying and it becomes a lesson for everyone who picks on weaker people for fun. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.